Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to um, share with you all, I've not looked inside of here yet, um, a very, very super sweet friend of mine who I've known from the crafty community for, I think, going on three years. Um, so anyway, um, she had asked me a while ago if I did Halloween crafts, and of course I do. I love it, and she told me she was getting rid of hers and would not be, you know, her, um, I guess her stash, <clears throat> excuse me, and wanted to ask me if I wanted it first because she knows how much I like it and how little, uh, supplies I had before, so she told me she'd be sending a box full, and I received this very large, um, medium flat rate box full and I'm gonna open it here with you guys so um, and keep in mind this is all Halloween stuff so uh, maybe I should label the video that all right so these are uh, purple and black clothes pins makers Halloween so that was like either Joann's or Michael's the makers Possibly Hobby Lobby. Nope. I think it would say Hobby Lobby. Oh, it says Joann's. Okay. So, purple and black. And then here are... They are... See, create your own. Create your Halloween. And they are facial tissues. And if any, any of you have ever done the... You know, pulling them apart... And Mod Podge them down. That's probably what I would do with these. And then, let's see, I'm going to pull out a few things right here from the top. Okay. And, oh, cute! These are little tombstone shapes, but they're like tags with the twine coming out of the top. They can be painted or anything. That was going to be so fun to play with. Girl, you got me wanting to do Halloween crafts. <laughs> okay, and here are some little fun uh, foam. We've got a ghost, a mummy, and a pumpkin. Little stickers. <clears throat> and this, I'm not sure what this is. Um, I haven't had a chance to ask her yet, so maybe I can find out, because right now all I'm seeing is like a little piggy nose, and I doubt <laughs> they're piggy noses, so I have to ask her about that one, and then here's a little bag of um, arrows, goblins this way, um, with creepy, looks like a little handful of each. And then this is, looks like an unopened pack of the Halloween Jumbo Confetti from Walmart. The black and silver glitter skulls, and then you've got the spiders on the other side. And, um, actually, I believe the backs can be this more um, plain. Yeah, you can use it that way, or you can use it that way. And the spiders are done the same. So those are fun. Um, I don't think I ever found these at Walmart. I think I had a few of them gifted to me. So that is great. And I'm so happy to have that pack. I don't know what to pull out next, you guys. Alright, let's see. Let me pull out a few things again. Again. Well. Alright, here let me show you these to you first. Alright, so this is oh, this is another bag of the large confetti, but it's in black and gold instead. Again, you can use them either way. It's like brand new packs. Thank you so much, Christina. 
And I don't think I even said that. I mentioned my friend of all this time. But her name is Christina. And then here we have some wooden tags. And look at that. Oh, they're different. Oh, I think I got I to gotta look. So they can be painted or decorated in any way. And they've all got this black um, organza type ribbon. So that one has a spider cut out. These would make great little uh, shaker elements to have on there. And then this one says treat. This one has a bat. This one has a crow. And this one has trick. So those are very, very cute. I didn't have a whole lot of Halloween stash. But uh, Christina, now I think I need a bigger box. <laughs> and then here is a pack. These I also never did get to find at Walmart. It is Jumbo Confetti, but it is the Iridescent Metallic Spiders. I'm not sure. There it is. Okay, I'm not sure. See if you were sure if you were getting that color. And they're black on the back. Awesome. Thank you so much. <clears throat> if I don't start running out of room over here. Okay, um different things in here. I'm just gonna grab another handful of something right here. Oh, these are bigger packs okay so wow that's a lot of stickers I cannot believe you're not going to Halloween craft anymore but I am super grateful for them I'll probably be sharing some of them and wow all right so this is a pack of K and Company uh, dimensional stickers she only used one but that is okay. I am completely fine. Look at the little rat over there. His little eyeballs move. And the owl has little eyeballs that move too. So those are nice. Little K and Company stickers. <clears throat> oh, these are cute. I did not know that these were at Joann's. I have like two of these that were gifted to me a long time ago. And I kept them and held on to them. So these are paper clips. But they're in the shape of a ghost. They're purple. And then this, um, I believe, is Crafter Square, so maybe Dollar Tree. Uh, the cute little pumpkins with the silver outlines. And they're like almost enamel feeling. So those are really cute. <gasps> oh, girl. So I looked for these before also and never got them. It is the um, Paper Studio Stickabilities, but it's the. Um, the dolls that you know for Halloween and love it love it love it love it hope that's not blinding you okay and then here is okay these are like eyeballs and mouths and they have that holographic purple and green and red only a couple missing. My son might steal those. <laughs> and then, ooh, puffies. Crafter Square. Adorable, adorable little ghost and uh, candy corns. He's holding a little lollipop. There's little cupcakes, candies. Ah, oh, look, some of the little ghosts have bat wings. That's so cute. So cute. Love, love, love that. Thank you so much. And then, ah, oh, awesome. This is a pack of treat bags. Very cute. Very, very cute. And it's always fun to have those on hand for packaging. And then, these are the clear, um, their zipper seal, 40 in a bag. There's like a dark house, and then like, what's that one, a witch? 
and a vampire and um, Frankenstein stars and bats there may be other ones in here or maybe they're just in different directions but yeah those will be great to put goodies in for Halloween swap and then okay I think this was to show what the bags look like exactly because of how the layers can throw you off really and not kind of you know not know what it looks like so this is what it looks like the little house and the pumpkin stars in the sky so that is a witch holding a pumpkin and a vampire and a Frankenstein. <clears throat> and then here is a uh, part of a pack of Jolie's Boutique. And these, y'all, they're not foam. Like, listen to this. Those, hope I didn't crack it. I mean, they're like clay or something i'm not sure what that is i'm so stoked about all this i can't even not tell you oh so cute i don't have a lot of halloween stuff anymore um these are the miss sparkle and company halloween stamp set i love the little um the funky skull and crossbones right there cute cat bones trick-or-treat and then here is a pack of 3D puffy stickers from Paper House. You see that? Wow. Those are like very detailed. Very detailed. Love them. Love them. Love them. Love them. me reach in for another handful oh you did not have to do all of this when you were talking about sending some i thought you were gonna send some not like your whole stash girlfriend all right so i grabbed um the first stickers here because uh i dug out and there is another pack in here Nothing better than two of each to be able to make more embellishments or to share with someone. And then, oh, these look really cute. What does it say at the top? These are uh, Miss Sparkle and Company. They are craft bags. I guess there were different sets. So this one's craft bags, scary. Eight bags, four of each. So, let's see here. Let me try to separate. Maybe she had more than one pack and put them together. I'm not sure. So, there's a few of these black and white design. And then, pumpkin face. Pumpkin face. And I love these little treat bags like this. Three, three more of that design. And then we've got some pumpkin faces. Oh, love these, love these, love, love these. All right. This was probably a set. I'm not sure how different they are. So these say Hocus Pocus. And look at the little hand sticking up with the star. Adorable. And then there were two of those. Let's see, one, two. I think there's three of this one. Love that. Like how, not that they look old, but you know, the, those older images of women like that. Yeah. Very cute. And in the front, there was a couple that are black. It says, Eat, Drink, and Be Scary. So, oh, I'm going to be set for next Halloween. Oh, because of you, Christina. I'll probably share some of this. I've got quite a few crafty friends who love Halloween as well. Sorry, I had to move that. 
Okay, here's a bag. May have been gifted to her, or maybe she just put them in a bag. Um, purple and green, I mean orange, different little trims. That one's got like spirals, and the purple has like iridescent on the edge. And then the one with spiders. These little curly looking ones. Very pretty. Love that. And, oh, what is this? Oh my goodness. This is a whole... Holy wow! Okay, so I don't know if these are scraps from a collection or if she did, like, print and cut stuff. Here's some little Halloween bingo cards, and there's a good little stack of them. Um, and then that's like a little, was that a card? No, they're just little images. So maybe she just prints them off, and, wait, they may, may very well be sized for a planner i could be wrong a little ha oh, look at that a little foot skeleton foot that one is a little cauldron let's see frankenstein oh so they're little cut aparts and pieces for embellishments happy halloween those are adorable and oh and i didn't wasn't sure that's why i said maybe scrap pieces but this little beautiful piece was in there and i love to layer with little random bits like this it's like this black stringy messy material has some glitter on there and it also has some bigger flakes of glitter black glitter too i really love that and then this looks like some bigger cards that match. See a pumpkin, the mummy. What's the purple one supposed to be? A vampire? Yeah. And then that guy. Oh, I like them. So there's that kind of ghost. And that kind of ghost. Very fun. Oh, wow. I don't know if she printed these or bought them. This one says, Wizard Approval Feathers of the Crow for charm-making purposes use as needed. <clears throat> and then that one is a little skull. Do not touch... Some more of those little small ones. That one's a bat, a monster, a witch, a broom, a monster, skull and crossbone. See a bunch of little, um, I'm going to call them bits and bobs. Oh, I like these. It's like a fancy frame, but they're little mummies. So cute. And I don't know how much is in here if I should be going through every single bit. So there's some bats. Oh, there's some more of those. Um, this one says toadstool clippings, nymph picked, used to cure most types of poisoning, use a, a pincher, a pinch per antidote batch hmm. this is bone powder and it says see, I'm not sure if you're getting it uh, sprinkle on top of potions to increase longevity of effects use sparkling must not come into direct contact with skin hmm. see there's an owl See, this one is werewolf fur. London's finest. 
100% real and freshly clipped werewolf fur, werewolf fur directly imported from London used on a night of the full moon. Use on a night of the full moon. Number one, use with caution. Those are really cute and they're going to be fine, fine things to play with. There's arsenic poison. Let's see. Pumpkin. Oh, there's a snake venom. And this one is horn dust. Unicorn horn dust. Hmm. Another owl. I said owl. Yeah, owl. Another ghost. Pumpkin. And some little small round ones. Those would be really cute for centers of uh, rosettes. And then here, maybe some, uh, yeah, it looks like little sheets of stickers that she used some from. I'm not sure. And these, huh. Okay, so these are to cut out. Skeleton bones eek and they'll make like you know little word pieces Like word stickers and then this one's like werewolves and witches and I would cut those little bad boys out And then this one's Halloween October 31st Goblins trick-or-treat And then this is looks to be Part of or parts of different sticker sheets. So, yeah. There's a little scrap of paper. This could have been a scrap with, you know, an envelope for scrap pieces. I'm not even sure. But I'm finding things that I like. Oh, I love that. Let's see. That is... I thought I saw glitter. That one's black. Oh, there's some glitter ones. Some squares, little bits and pieces, and I think this is more of the rest of them. There's, there are more bones. Let's see, sorry, I have to add for camera. Bones. Um, here's a little banner that says candy. Huh. Here's what is that? The ribs, the rib cage. So how about that? Um, well, it's like a little witch stamp she made. Yeah, it's lots of fun little pieces in there. Gonna definitely have to go through that um, slower than I did here on camera. Just see what is in there. And... I hope you guys are not getting too bored <laughs> and are still watching along. I don't want that to fall over. Okay. So, here are some oh, little things here. I'm going to go ahead and grab a little handful out. Okay, so... First thing is Maker's Halloween Ribbon. Orange with little spiders. So cute. And, okay, I'm assuming these were maybe a, a pack for a party. I'm not sure. But they could easily be uh, mini altered Halloween books, you know, that you stamp on or put frames in um, anything like that you could pop into some happy mail but there is a little stack of them Oop. Yes. three six seven eight of those and these these look different but they could be the pens that go with the tablets so that would be cute too so it's a pack of 12 ballpoint pens and she may have had the same idea when she got these to send them together and didn't get to it I'm not sure so here 
I know it's the same. Okay, no. So here's another pack of the Jumbo Confetti. You scored all the Jumbo Confetti, Christina. So you've got the big pumpkins and some smaller pumpkins. And then here's another pack. Uh, it looks mixed. I see pumpkins. Ghost. All right, now I'm going to have to look. Ah. Okay, so pumpkins. And these are black on the back. Comes with a lot of pieces. Oh, little bats. Look at that little smile. Isn't he so cute? Just pop. Hi. <laughs> so there's a good bit of those. And then you got some little smiling ghost. So cute. Yeah. That is what is in that pack. And okay, I see some more smaller stuff. Um, I think she mentioned that she popped in a few other things in here that maybe weren't Halloween. Um, which, it's fine with me. Oh, let's see. Oh, I think I just dropped something in the bottom of the box. I'll get there. Okay, so. Ooh, I have a pack of these, so now I have way plenty and I can share them. These are the little 3D spider confetti from Walmart like little whoa oh no okay anyway the little rubbery looking spiders awesome this pack uh, oh this is felt these are little felt stickers I see the moon, and then, well, it's supposed to be like a haunted house, and then some in black. And what is that down there? Oh, cute! Some little neon spiders. Adorable. There's some small stars that match. This is, okay, spider, excuse me, spider webs. That's what I was curious about. So, those will be fun to use. I'm seriously already got this in my head. And I might just have to do a little bit of Halloween crafting, y'all. Because mine is all put up. So, not only do I have to get it back out and reorganize, but I'm going to have it all out. So, Mm. I might just have to do some Halloween. I mean, it wouldn't hurt because um, I have a few crafty buddies who like Halloween too. Doesn't have to just be Halloween. Halloween time. And then, oh, this is a cute, it's like a mini background, I guess. Um, Spiderweb background stamp. Oh, I'm trying to hurry, and this video is already so long, y'all. Mm, there's not too much left. I think I can. I think I can get it. Well, ah, I'll go ahead and do it. All right. So here's a sheet of those glittery foam stickers. And then a sheet of the witch's hats. And, ah, here's a sheet of those pink pearls. I had looked for these at my Dollar Tree and never could find them, so she had picked up a pack for me. And these are an 18 pack of metallic feathers. And those would be really fun in Halloween projects, or really any projects. So maybe it's not just for Halloween. Let's see. There's a few things here, and then a baggie, another baggie, oh. <laughs> ok, 
Christina. Christina, Christina. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Oh, one was missing out of that sticker pack earlier, but it's not missing. It's right here. It must have came out. All right, so there. this is um, wire-edged ribbon, uh, two and a half inches wide. Pumpkins and bats and spiders. Very cute. Love that. Sorry, y'all. Oh, not enough room. <laughs> this, oh my goodness, she knows I love, love, love washi tape. So, these are a two-pack. I love the funky little skull there. And then it's got um, cute little ghost that says boo. Love that. Oh, look, it's got little, she's got little, I don't know if you can see that. Little red cheeks and eyelashes. And then the other pack also has two. Um, they're five meters by the way. See, that one's looks like a dark purple sky with buildings and houses and moon. And then this one is black with eyeballs. Like if you were in the black and, you know, weird animals are there and their eyes are glowing in the dark. Super cute. Alright, and then this is a pack of little felt pumpkins. Those are adorable. And, ooh, very cute. Okay, these are pumpkin tags. It says you get 24 tags, 8 of each, so some are different. And, of course, now I want to get them all out and look. But my video has already gotten a little bit lengthy, so I'm not going to do that for every pack now. So, all right, here's the, here we go, last little envelope that she has. Um, she took a, like a manila, not manila, a white policy envelope, I guess you'd call it. And let's see what's in here. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know Bo Bunny had a. Halloween collection. Y'all, look at this. Alright, Bow Bunny chipboard. And it was only $1.99? Oh my goodness, how can I never find this stuff? I'm telling y'all, never. Haunted Mansion. And you've got like a little some container that holds something with an eyeball on it. Tags. Oh, Dracula, Werewolf, Frankenstein, Mummy. Spider. Toxic tag and a hat with a web. Oh, look at that big haunted house, a mouse, you've got little eyes, coffin, potion bottles, more eyes, a candle, and this is like a bat um, banner that we go across your page. That is super awesome, Christina. Okay. And then here we have a pack of Studio G, a chipboard. Love it. Look at the scary. Halloween, Wicked, Scream, Haunted, Trick or Treat, and Cute. So adorable. And, oh, I can't get a hold of it. I can't get a hold of it. All right, so, oh, oh these are papers. I think it's from Beautiful Night. So she's included some of those papers that may be gifted to her since she obviously isn't doing any of this anymore. Um, there's some probably some scrap pieces. Yeah. And then oh, that's a little scrap piece. A tag. Oh, look at the little girls. I love it. Love it. So cute. And then pumpkin tag. Spiderweb tag. And these, maybe, were Joe Lee's. I'm not sure. Um, the little witch legs and some half little tinsel decoration on the tops. Adorable. Here's another long one. 
two long ones. All right, so, okay, some of the paper that was cut out of, um, this is what it was cut out of, I believe. Like, one said candy, so I could cut out Ghosts and Goblins, Happy Halloween, and then there's this little trick-or-treat, so she included that, too. And then here is a pack of chipboard by K and Company. I love those little stamp looking ones there. Uh, I want candy. And that's like a pile of candy. Boo. Happy Halloween. So fun. So fun. I'm not sure where to put everything. Okay, we're down to the last little bit in here. I promise. Promise, promise, promise. Okay, so. Oh, she always, uh, always picks up these really cute little um, paper pads from Michael's. Is it Michael's or Joanne's? Miss Sparkle and Company, anyway. So, she's so got the little cutesy little vampires and the go or skeletons and ghosts and pumpkins. Um, I'm not sure if there were stickers in it. Something just came out. But she did use some of this. And the other stuff I saw. Um, one I know it was this one. Oh, this one. I just oohed and awed over the little girls. Look, like dancing skeletons. Huh. And oh, there are the cute little girls. Love them. And then spider web, stars, and lightning, haunted houses. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I thought that was it. These are the little, um, they say creepy crawly stickers, and I don't know if you can tell, but they're actually, they're not just black sticker. These are like velvet. You might not be able to see with them in the pack. I don't know if I should open them or not. Okay, I guess I did decide. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. You can tell that they're not. Hear that? And it's like velvet material. Oh, I lost an eyeball, but I'm sure I have more I can put on. So, yeah, a little sheet of those. There's 12 in it. And, oh, this. Oh, is this a. Ah! Uh, I see what it is. Okay. She. It's like a mini loaded bag. Okay. I'm not sure if this is yours or what. So, she took a, like a, what do you call those? Like garbage, not garbage, um, you know, lunch sacks. Colored lunch sacks. And glued up her flap and made a pocket. So, there's a pocket there. And then you can put things inside. And then the other side also has a pocket. And she made it into a shaker with some of that gorgeous black material. So cute. Love it. I could just add embellishments to it. And dress it up a little bit more. And add goodies in it. Love it. Love it. All right. Last things, I think, I've got a, there's an envelope, small envelope, tucked in here, and what did she, I think she may have cut these for me out of like vinyl, um, or something on her Cricut before I got my Cricut. They are 
gold flowers and leaves. Um, so, look at that, you guys. Flowers. I mean, those are the leaves. And then, got your flower pieces. And I'm not sure because of how the background is. Like, does it peel off and stick? I'm not quite sure. I'll have to ask her. But there's all different sizes. And there's a, like a tiny one. You know, so you can layer them up. And then see a bigger one. And this one's a little bigger, but a different shape. Could be the center. Let's see. Those two are like medium size. Oh, wow. That's a Oh, much bigger much bigger bigger smaller and smaller version of that other one so yeah lots of little flower pieces here so I can build flowers and they're in gold and she knows I love gold <laughs> and oh this was an oh so cute. I wonder if she made this. This little bow was stuck in there too. So cute. Gold glitter. She knows me so well. Love it. And this is the last one. I promise. <laughs> it is envelopes. Is it envelopes? Hmm. Can't tell what's in there. They, what are, oh, I think these are mini file folders. OMG. Oh, so blue glitter file folder. Another one with the tab moved. This is a black pattern with silver glitter. Adorable. Another one that matches it. So cute. Let's see, and this one I can, I think it might be it scored. I can fold it myself. Let's see, that one matches the other one long. That one also matches the other one. I've seen this paper before. I don't know where. Um, and I wish I had gotten it because it's beautiful. Oh, especially this one. This is my favorite. Look at that, y'all. Like abstract, I don't know what, with silver. So pretty. And then here's some that just needed to be folded. So there's like a pink with um, orange glitter on there. Another. And another. And, oh, that one's got the line, you can see. That's the shape they're supposed to be. And they all coordinate with this black, white, and silver she's got going on. There, and another blue glitter one. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so, so very much, Christina. Did not realize you'd be sending quite so much, uh, but I do appreciate it. And it will be used. Oh, I promise you promise you. Now I just got to figure out how to store all this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> opening this box with me. I'm sorry it got lengthy. We're right here at 45 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and stop now. Um, it was fun. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.